Just like adults, children can develop brain tumors. And a true tumor is cells that are multiplying faster and ab than they're supposed to in, in an abnormal way. Once a tumor is found, pediatric neurosurgeon Dr. Theodore Spink says the question people often ask is if it's benign or malignant. However, inside the skull, any tumor can be a problem. So there are a lot of benign tumors that are slow growing that are not likely to spread. That's the difference. A malignant tumor grows faster and is more likely to spread. But there are a lot of benign tumors in the brain that are still a problem that we still have to treat. That's because the tumor can start putting the brain under pressure. There are many different surgical approaches to brain tumors. It mainly depends on where it is. Dr. Spinks has a computer guided system that makes surgery as safe as possible. I can, in the operating room, take a pointer and point at a spot on the head and see where it is on the MRI, which helps me locate the tumor and avoid the more sensitive areas of the brain that might cause paralysis or speech problems or so forth. There are also minimally invasive approaches, including a small tube retractor that it still requires a hole in the skull but allows a very small hole in the skull and still a good resection of the uh, tumor. You can learn more about pediatric neurosurgery by searching for it on leehealth.org. For Lee Health, I'm Devin Turk.